Purpose of a Gender-Based Violence Assessment Gender-based violence or GBV takes place everywhere, particularly in emergencies. How do we know who is at most risk for GBV? How and where to target our GBV interventions? Which services to prioritize? Let us take a closer look at GBV assessments, a key component of GBV programming. I have been analyzing these figures. Since we have so few GBV cases here, addressing GBV is not a priority for our context. Um, let's take a closer look. Remember, GBV is underreported in all settings. Recorded cases represent only a small percentage of the overall number of incidents. Despite low numbers or a lack of available data, we should always assume that GBV is happening and threatening the affected population. In fact, the absence of quantitative data could be a clue. A clue for what? It may indicate that survivors are facing many barriers to accessing services. A survivor's willingness to report could be undermined by several societal and structural barriers. These include social stigma, shame, mistrust in health and security institutions, mandatory reporting requirements, fear of retaliation, lack of awareness and lack of access to referral services. It may not appear as the most urgent need, however, addressing GBV is urgent. GBV programming is life-saving. Essential services and other measures to address GBV must be put in place at the onset of an emergency. Does this mean that evidence that GBV is happening is not required to initiate GBV interventions? Exactly. GBV assessments do not aim to identify individuals or group of survivors. They never serve to determine whether GBV is happening or its prevalence. Then what are GBV assessments for? GBV assessments help us to understand the nature and scope of violence against women and girls in a specific context the specific protective and risk factors of the population and gaps in the quality and availability of response services. They help ensure that programs across all sectors are based on this understanding and facilitate the design of more appropriate responses. They highlight opportunities, resources and strengths within the community to address GBV. They help us better understand the context, assess the quality of our work and capabilities of GBV actors to modify our programs accordingly. For you and ACR, GBV assessments inform planning, monitoring and evaluation of GBV programs in ways that prevent and mitigate the risk of GBV as well as improve response services for survivors. We can also use GBV assessments as an advocacy tool. They can help increase funding and action towards addressing GBV. Remember, good assessments produce good interventions. Thanks. I understand now the importance of a GBV assessment to our work in supporting survivors and persons at risk.